For most people, including Uncle Sam himself, for show. November 2008 can't come soon enough when Americans will elect a new POTUS. That's, That's president, president of the, of the United, United States. 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 The Republicans have John McCain. I'm John McCain and I approve this message. The Democrats, on the other hand, have all out war. war. Yes, the Democratic race now resembles that of a 13 round boxing match. In, In this corner, corner, the senator, the senator from, from New York, York Hillary, Hillary Rodham, Rodham Clinton. Clinton. And in and the, the other, other corner, corner, the senator, senator from Illinois, Barack Obama. Obama. Each candidate has built their campaign on a theme. Obama represents judgment. Hillary Clinton, experience. But the burning question on everyone's mind is, which trait is more important? Let's take a look at experience. It is defined as knowledge or practical wisdom gained from what one has observed, encountered, or undergone. I'll be the first to say that experience is valuable. When you're flying the friendly skies, you want the pilot, that guy right there, to have experience. The same goes for your local mechanic, teacher, and doctor. Judgment does play a role in how they perform their jobs, but it's the repetition of what they do that's the key to their success. When it comes to judgment, it is defined as the ability to judge, make a decision, or form an opinion objectively, authoritatively, and wisely, especially in matters affecting action, good sense, or discretion. Throughout the history of the United States, 42 men have been elected president, but their resumes varied. Before they became commander in chief, some of our presidents were former vice presidents. Experience. Others were governors. Experience. Other presidents were senators and representatives. There were even presidents who were generals before they took the oath of office. Experience. But not all of our presidents have had such impressive resumes. One of our greatest presidents, Abraham Lincoln, was the least experienced president to ever hold the office. When he was sworn in in 1861, he had served four terms in the Illinois State Legislature and only one term in the U.S. House of Representatives. Experience? He successfully led this nation during the most tumultuous time in U.S. history, the Civil War, all on a very lean resume. Which makes you wonder, how important is judgment and intelligence when it comes to being president of the United States? As you know, presidents are surrounded by advisors, from the cabinet to the Joint Chiefs, all offering their expert opinions. Ultimately, the president makes judgments which directly affect the nation. Take, for example, John F. Kennedy. It was his judgment, against the advice of his military advisors, not to use lethal force to stop the Russians during the Cuban Missile Crisis. This move proved to be correct, preventing almost certain nuclear war. Thank you, sir. During the Gulf War, the first President Bush made a critical decision not to invade Iraq and depose Saddam Hussein. His reason? Bush said, quote, had we gone the invasion route, the United States could conceivably still be an occupying power in a bitterly hostile land. In 1992, then Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney said, quote, I would guess if we had gone in there, I would still have forces in Baghdad today. We'd be running the country. We would not have been able to get anybody out and bring anybody home. I don't know about you, but um, I'm a little confused. It's baffling how VP Dick Cheney didn't listen to his former self, Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney, and instruct him to advise George W. Bush to do what the first President Bush did, not invade Iraq. Better yet, why didn't President George W. Bush consult with his dad, George H.W. Bush? I don't know. Five years and $600 million in counting, we're still in a conflict with no end in sight. Was it judgment or experience that got us into this mess? Which is more important? You be the judge. See you next time with another scoop of pure logic.